Hey guys, what is up? I am back with another video, and today we're going to be checking out if the 2009 MacBook is still good in 2020. But before we get into that video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, because I make tons of content just like this that you definitely do not want to miss. Let's get right into it. So guys, just wanted to let you know, this video is entirely edited on this MacBook right here. Completely edited in 4K 60 on this MacBook. It wasn't fun, but it got done. I did it on this computer. So before we get into the actual OS, let's take a look at the design. So we can see it's a white polycarbonate plastic MacBook, and obviously plastic scratches easily. As you can see in some of these bright spots, you can see some of the scratches. It's not great, but it works fine. Let's take a look at the back now. You can see that the battery is easily interchangeable with just a simple little coin. You put it in and you'll be able to take this battery right out. And then right under that, the RAM, you'll be able to take that out. And the hard drive to the left of that is very easy to access on this MacBook. It's very nice to have an upgradable machine in 2020. Like this is what makes this still a usable thing. Like if you weren't able to upgrade the hard drive, that would be really stressful to use a 5400 RPM hard drive. So obviously right off the bat, I'm gonna have to say, if you get one of these computers, you should probably get an SSD. It's not terrible with a hard drive, but it's not gonna be, like you're gonna think it's so much slower than it actually is. It gives this computer a new life. It's so much better with an SSD. Let's take a look at the side now. You can see we have the optical drive on this side and it's been heavily used. So it's still, it, you can see that the inner cloth here has been pretty worn out. It's not great, but it still works. Let's head on over to this side now. You can see we have a nice selection of ports. We have MagSafe, Ethernet, Mini DVI. We also have Firewire and we have two USB ports plus a microphone in and a headphone jack and a log if you want to if you're worried about that <laughs> here you can see we have the keyboard and trackpad with the button at the bottom this is the older style when they did the original ones this, they had this button now they obviously have the whole uh full button thing so that the entire trackpad is the button so with this one you actually had to you know use it and then click this button instead of being able to click anywhere on the board it, do it just doesn't work and now let's go ahead and do the boot up test. And I'll fast forward this and leave a time indicator. And we're in. Let's go ahead and get into the operating system and you guys can really see that this is not a slow machine, at least if you put an SSD in it. We're right into the operating system. I'm on high Sierra for this one because I wanted to be able to use 32-bit apps with no compromise. I have my main Mac on Catalina, but when I used this as my main Mac, I used it on Sierra. I used it on high Sierra. It was a great computer. I actually used it to start this YouTube channel. And obviously I wasn't doing 4K 60 at the time, but you know what? That's going to be a challenge is getting 4K 60 working on this computer for a video editor. And we're going to see if that works. I'm hoping that it does, it's probably not gonna work great, but I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna go here to about this Mac and you can see that is the mid 2009 model. Core 2 Duo, it's got, the, it's got two gigabytes of RAM, which I am planning to upgrade. And it also has NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics chip in it. It's got a 1280 by 800 display and 240 gigabyte SSD that I upgraded to with Windows as well. I have Windows 7 on here and High Sierra on here. I downloaded Minecraft to see how fast that would load on here or if it would even work. And I tried it out. It's basically like a Geekbench style thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it and you'll be able to see for yourself. It's uh, quite interesting. So we'll go ahead and click play, load into the latest release, which is 12 or 1.16.2. And keep in mind, guys, gaming is not what this computer was made for, even when it came out. It did have the 3D graphics chip, and it was able to play Minecraft well at some point. And it still is, as long as you upgrade the RAM. But with 2 gigabytes of RAM, this thing just does not run as well as you would want it to. It's okay. I've used it on Minecraft. It doesn't run terribly. But 
if you want to be able to play Minecraft on this computer, you should really consider upgrading to 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's not a situation where you can't play with 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's just a lot better experience if you get 4 gigabytes. It makes a massive difference. I don't have 4 gigabytes in there right now because I'm using it in a different computer. But I'm telling you, it makes an extremely good difference. And Mojang has finally loaded into the Minecraft screen, and we can go ahead and go in. Now, this is actually going to be something interesting. I'll leave the time that it takes to build a world, but it's actually kind of surprising. It takes a while. I tried building one, and even in the beginning, after you build the world, it still is slowed down, but eventually, the world does speed back up to normal speed. So, it starts out pretty laggy in the beginning. So, let's go ahead and create this world, and you'll be able to see. And guys, it took a while to get into that world. You can see it's not terrible once we're in. It's a little stuttery, but after you give it some time, it does smoothen out and you're able to play the game. It's very laggy in the beginning, but it does get better. Oh, and just to let you guys know, if you're seeing these weird like camera reflection things, uh, that's not on the actual screen. That's just how it looks from the angle that I'm recording at. So if you wanted to get one of these MacBooks, don't worry, the screen is fine. And you can see it's not terrible. Some lags here and there. It runs <laughs> as I'm running in Minecraft, but it runs. It's not terrible, but it does get better with time. You can see there's a little glitch going on over there. Um, and it's just, this is really what you would want to get the four gigabytes of RAM for. It's just not great when you're trying to play a game on it or do anything really on it. I mean, it does, Minecraft will go back to being smooth after you give it some time. As you can see, it's smoothening out a little bit. It's taking its time, but it's smoothening out. But it's just not optimal for even a game that can run on the Raspberry Pi. And obviously that version is a lot more dumbed down than what this one is. But it, I mean, I'll just say Minecraft, if you really wanted to play it, sure, you, you could play it on the 2009 MacBook but you should definitely upgrade the RAM. The chicken agrees. If you want to play Minecraft on this MacBook, you should definitely upgrade the RAM so he can walk around more without lagging. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear this or not, but, oh, why does it say that? Well, this is wrong because I put out of this manually, so I don't know why it says that, but I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the fans are ramped up after playing that Minecraft. And something that you can actually do if you want to minimize that is you can put new thermal paste on it. Yeah, upgrading the thermal paste in this computer can definitely help a lot. That's what I'm planning on doing in the future. I haven't yet. It definitely makes my fan spin up a lot more not having replaced that. So I do want to do that in the future. And I would recommend if you wanted to get one of these, if it was heating up a lot, it would probably be time to give it a new thermal paste. It's not something you have to do, but it is something that makes it so that it's not burning hot on you all the time. It's just normal computer. And guys, since I'm on High Sierra, the web browser is perfectly up to date and everything is working. And even then, you can still update to Catalina by going to this website, dosdude1.com. And if you go to this website, you can go to his software page and you can get the Catalina patcher and the Mojave patcher. I'm on the High Sierra patcher right now. And it it's really cool. It makes it so that you can install unsupported software on older Macs, and that's what I'm doing with this High Sierra one. I would have gone to Mojave or Catalina, but you can't use 32-bit apps in uh, Catalina, and it's, you still can in Mojave, it's just a little bit less than this. This is just perfect for me. So this is what I generally would use this computer for, is 32-bit apps, like older versions of Photoshop, older versions of Xcode, anything I needed really that was older, this computer has me covered for that because I have my MacBook Air uh, for newer programs and then this for 32-bit ones. And I have installed Catalina on it before just to try it and see how it would run. And it runs better than you would expect, at least if you have an SSD. If you have an SSD, it will run a lot better than you would probably think for a computer that's already 11 years old. And I got this computer in 2016, so I've had it for a while. and. 
when I had it, it was old <laughs> and it's really old now. And somehow you can still get it on the newest version of Mac OS. And just a quick segue into things that are easier to do for this Mac. You've got pages, you can do Safari browsing. If you want to do <laughs> Chrome browsing, you should probably upgrade your RAM. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM is not really good for Chrome because Chrome eats a lot of RAM, but Safari handles it just fine. Um, pages, it works great in High Sierra on this Mac. Performance is all good and everything on here. You can create a document about your old Mac book. And it handles it just fine. You can hear the fans aren't on right now because it can do simple stuff like that. It can do all those things. And it can even do YouTube. I'll show you it for right now. YouTube.com. Let me just add an undisclosed link to the end of this. Pinch soft. Don't go to that link ever. Because it'll take you to this beautiful website. And so you can see it loads YouTube perfectly fine and fast. Everything here is good. It's loading up all the thumbnails and everything easily with no with no trouble. You can see there was a little lag to load that. I'm not sure if that was a glitch in Safari or if that was a loading issue, but I don't know. But it all works out in at least for a computer. Like you gotta remember, if this was 2009, you think you'd want to use an iMac G3 that came out in like 1997? I mean, that's I know that's a little bit older. That's 12 years. This is 11. Like, in 2009, you would not have wanted to use an iMac G3, like the original iMac. But you can still use one of these. You might not want to use one of these, but you can use it in a much better capacity than you would have been able to for an iMac G3. And guys, now I get to go ahead and uh, edit this, uh, this video. <laughs>